Uh, welcome to SAP S4 HANA simplification uh, series on finance and integration uh, subjects and uh, in earlier session we discussed about uh, the simplifications in customer uh, and uh, vendor master data and also we had a discussion on uh, master data credit management changes so today let's look at uh, the foreign trade uh, simplifications which are coming up so in SAP uh, there are two modules are used for foreign trade uh, one is in SD module which is foreign trade and another one is uh, global uh, trade services which is an external uh, system uh, which is normally integrated so basic uh, finance process and uh, foreign foreign trade process which are integrated to SD module as well as uh, uh, procurement module so uh, going forward in uh, S4 HANA all these services uh, which are related to foreign trade uh, in SD module are going to be natively integrated into GTS module itself. So uh, pretty much uh, all the SD process such as letter of credit, intrastate, license management, etc. will be built into global trade services itself. So there will not be any uh, SAP SD in foreign trade. So what are the implications of uh, that particular uh, uh, change in uh, simple simplification so if you look at uh, different modules uh, materials management uh, majority of the material uh, master foreign trade fee uh, views are eliminated and uh, there are purchase order fields and uh, in the goods receipt also there will be a you know, large set of uh, information related to foreign trade is uh, or eliminated and if you look at the SD module, uh, obviously the sales order uh, foreign trade fields are eliminated, uh, associated goods receipt and uh, billing uh, fields, and then um, you know the, all the integration related to intrastat and uh, extrastat um, integrations are eliminated. And if you go to uh, the finance within the integration, like creating finance documents from sales order, um, and uh, you know legal reporting will be you know changed. So, large set of uh, SAP transactions are pretty much eliminated from uh, from uh, simplification um, going forward in the SAP S4 HANA. All the transactions related to these uh, these business process are no longer available, and everything will be built into the GTS module itself. So, the global trade uh, services, even though it is an external uh, system which is natively integrated uh, with uh, S4 HANA. Um, and then you know all the process will be automatically available there so if you if you look at the overall uh, migration projects uh, for s4 hana uh, with reference to foreign trade um, you know you you will have a lot of changes in idoc um, idocs and then um, all the race of objects which are built around um, customer master fields material master fields you know sales uh, order fields and uh, you know finance fields will be changing so based on that uh, a, like you know customer code validation need to be conducted and then uh, like there are a lot of process changes because part of the simplification so everything is brought into the gts so there will be huge uh, you know set of process improvements uh, will be there and uh, uh, sap calls them as a simplification and uh, obviously the external systems which are integrated uh, for uh, different kinds of um, foreign trade reporting uh, will have impacts so uh, these need to be evaluated uh, before you know conducting the migration uh, to s4 hana and uh, when it comes to the gts uh, you know all the sd process which are natively built and all the gts process you know which are available as independently uh, these will be an extra license, uh, you know, fee SAP uh, may charge for that extra services. Whereas those processes which were there part of uh, uh, ECC uh, will be automatically available from GTS uh, in S4 HANA system. And then um, the large impacts uh, you can see from the country integration because the foreign trade um, is related to to like you no know, different countries and different laws are enforced and 
of course the gts module is built for that kind of reporting so uh, it would be a natural integration so this this would be a kind of um, you know simplification that you can see here but uh, the huge impact on the mig migration project so uh, it needs to be evaluated uh, from all these um, uh, development perspective uh, before taking up uh, the s4 hana implementation project hopefully you uh, you enjoyed this uh, explanation and uh, thanks for watching these videos and please look for more presentations and uh, please visit uh, simplefinancesupport.com for uh, the discussion on SAP S4 HANA simplification series. Thank you.